We, you, live in an area in which it is not the deficiency of data which bothers us, but what to do with it. My name is Juan Bax. I'm a lecturer in remote sensing at the faculty ITC. The world around us is changing rapidly, and even though we have not fully surveyed every little corner of the world, we already collected enormous amounts of data about phenomena like climate change, sea level rise, urban expansions, crop production and nutrition. These data sets live in archives, are posted online, are frequently updated, and even we, you, continuously contribute to the acquisition of geospatial data by using your phone. In the GOAI thematic line, we will prepare you for appropriate development and application of advanced machine learning algorithms for a wide variety of geospatial application domains. From developing algorithms which make UAVs autonomous in entering collapsed buildings after a disaster for search and rescue, or algorithms to monitor and predict where ticks will emerge in urban environments. GOAI, or Geospatial Artificial Intelligence, is the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques with geographic information systems and remote sensing systems. It enables automated analysis and interpretation of large and complex spatial datasets, facilitating the extraction of meaningful patterns, trends and insights. By combining AI's ability to process and analyze vast amounts of data with GIS's spatial analysis capabilities, GOAI can enhance decision-making across various domains, such as urban planning, environmental monitoring, climate change. In GOAI, we focus on improving algorithmic thinking for scientific programming, instead of learning a program language. We have seen our students grow from hesitant to write, hello world, into skillful programmers using and combining Python, Postgres, SQL, and even c -sharp. You don't have to, but it will certainly help you in finding good positions in academia, business, or government agencies. Over the years, we have seen that we attract interest from staff and students from different geo-application domains, all with the interest to further develop into the more technological direction. On the other hand, we also welcome surveyors, cartographers, and GIS specialists, and increasingly participants from domains like computer science and engineering who would like to develop into the geo domain. Thus our students not only learn from the professors, whom you will soon know their first name, but they also learn from each other, through assignments and group work. The engineer or surveyor might help the computer scientist to increase understanding of the geospatial challenges, while the computer scientist might help the surveyor to grasp the computer graphics and scene understanding. I personally think that this diversity is essential for students to prosper and grow beyond the usual. The largest component of the thematic line is obviously devoted to machine learning for geospatial sciences. Staff from the Earth Observation Sciences Department and Geoinformation Processing Department join forces to introduce a wide range of machine learning algorithms and solutions for a variety of problems, including spatial temporal clustering, understanding and application of neural networks, and random forest using vector data, image data, video sequences, volunteer geographic data, in-situ sensor measurements, and the combination and integration of all of these. And the emphasis lies not only at understanding the algorithms and for which geospatial problem and datasets they are useful, but also on how to make ethically use of them. That is obviously a big issue and needs appropriate attention, because after all, we educate responsible scientists. We have created the thematic line with a number of very attractive job profiles in mind. By selecting a limited number of additional courses, you can qualify, for example, as a geospatial data engineer and be responsible to create geoservices that are reusable for large governmental organizations, or as a 3D geoinformation engineer and extract semantic and precise geometric properties of infrastructural elements like buildings to help United Nations with developing livable cities. With the knowledge, competences and skills acquired in this thematic line, you're actually ready for almost any geo-related job, like our alumnus Ipsit Dash, who is currently Director Consulting Services Data and AI at CGI in the Netherlands. You will have obtained a solid basis not only to start working, but also to develop yourself through additional training and lifelong learning. Our students are ready to conquer the world. Ah, no. They're ready to help develop the world into a better place for all. And if you are ready to become that versatile, critical, creative scientist that can quickly assess the geospatial needs of stakeholders and come up with ways to help solving their problems, I look forward to seeing you in my class very soon. And remember, my name is Juan.